Eiffel. London, 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 London. Hello, this is Coogan Cassius for I From London. We're at your call for the Miranda Carter Show. With me making his professional debut today, Robin Dupree. And his trainer, Chris Oko. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah. good thanks, Coogan. Good to see you again. Good to see you as always, Chris. Um, Robin, yeah, you made your debut today. Do you want to assess your performance today? Yeah, um, started off jabbing, moving around, some right hands. He was very strong. Um, same sort of thing in the second round. In the third round, I started working a bit more to the body with the, with the right hand, jabbing him and slipping to the right hand. But he was very strong, strong and tough. He's had a few bats, knows the ring and stuff. Made it a bit awkward for me and holding a bit. But first bat out of the way and get back in the gym and with Chris and for the next one and work on the mistakes we made and perfect it, hopefully. <laughs> now, uh, Chris, you spoke to me about Robin uh, briefly the other yeah. day when I saw you. That's right. And obviously, it's sometimes just important just to get that first one out of the way, isn't it? The anticipation and uh, yeah. a little bit of pressure, you know, being his first bout on that. But how did you think you'd done? No, I thought, uh, given what you just said, Coogan, in terms of the anticipation, the pressure, you know, uh, he's boxing in front of his, you know, his home fans. You know, my, my assessment is that Robin did really, really well. Um, tricky opponent, good opponent for him, first first opponent. And uh, again, there's a few, few mistakes, but generally speaking, I was very, very happy with his performance. Uh, he did what I asked him to do, work, which was work behind the jab. He boxed when he had to, had to box. Sometimes got a bit caught up and tied up. Uh, when he didn't have to, but the main thing was he was winning the rounds um, c um, comfortably, and and he got a good win. So that uh, he's off, he's off and running for his first pro belt. Now um, you, you started off as a as a heavyweight, I believe. So uh, as an amateur, yeah. As an amateur, so um, you obviously you're, you're testing your weight at the moment because you yeah. have to have a few fights, I suppose, before you you know what his yeah. best weight's going to be. Yeah, really. I mean, for me, Robin, as Robin said, he, in in the amateurs, he boxes a a, a heavyweight, which is 91 kilos um, but really for me um, he's not really a heavyweight he's, he's definitely a cruise weight maybe even I think his ideal really is ideal weight is, is a light heavy as a light heavyweight so for me uh, what I want to do is over the next 12 months is to gradually get Robin down to about 13 stone and then 10, 12 stone 10 because uh, I think his ideal weight and the better the weight that will be most efficient at will be 12 as a light heavyweight which is 12 stone 10, 12 stone 7. Robin, could you just tell us a little bit about your amateur amateur background? Yes, I boxed for um, Dagenham Amateur Boxing Club um, for about five years. Boxed for England once, picked for uh, um, London boxing, one, one for England, one for London. Um, boxed in the ABA, he's got two the pre quarter finals. Lost on a point position, but computer scoring, so I can say. And um, and uh, my last bat was um, a, a rep match for Repton against Ireland. I got out of the ring, bad decision went against me, and that was it. I was going pro, and I know Chris Oko, he, he's helped me out as an amateur with sparring and stuff like that down at his other club uh, when he was a trainer at Chapel St Mary's. And um, Chris is from Croydon, I'm from Dagenham, miles and miles and miles apart. But, um, I mean, I'm very happy with Chris. Um, we had a lot of travelling between the two of us. But I'm happy, Chris is happy, we work well together, so why well, break something that's working well together, so yeah. And uh, with Chris, one thing I love about with Chris, he's, he's, um, he's a friend as well, and um, we can talk and he gets me straight in the gym, there's no slacking off for me, so that's what we want in the trainer. So, hard for me, but <laughs> it's, I'm going to reap the benefits like tonight, I won, and uh, if I was left to my own devices, who knows what would have happened. <laughs> so, thank you, Chris. Appreciate that, man. Brilliant, no problem. Well, been a pleasure training you, man. Well. All right, listen, guys, thank you very much for talking to my iPhone, man. Thank you. And uh, listen, it's uh, on to the next one. And, uh, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Luck. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, thanks for interviewing us in his thank first you. pro debut, Kugan. I really appreciate that. Thank so you. Appreciate it. Thank you. And we can see you're tired as well. You come down from Nottingham. <laughs> just to come. Just to that. So that's, well, you know, we're, we're honoured. We're honoured. So. <laughs> Yeah, all right, no problem, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, I feel Brilliant. London. All right, cheers. Nice one.